know this is getting a bit ridiculous, but the Lord dropped something in my spirit that I need to sh to share. Um, the, the Lord said, don't be afraid of hurt and of pain. He, he said, don't let hurt and pain stop you from partnering. Yes, you tried to partner with people before and it not work out and you got hurt or they got hurt or it was something bad. He's like, don't let that stop you from partnership because this time it will be different. He says, this time it will be different. I was going out about my business when I stopped the last post because I don't do two posts in a day, never ever three. But he said, I need you to tell them um, to not let hurt and past hurt or past bad decisions or past mistakes stop them from partnership. He said, because this time it will be different. This time it will be different. This time it will be different. I know it hurt the last time when you tried to partner in your business. I know they rejected you when you tried to do this. I know you you tried to do this before and it didn't work. But don't let that stop you in this endeavor in this new relationship, in this new season, because he's saying he's plowing new ground. He's saying all things are passed away and all things have become new. And I know trust is hard when it's broken, but he's saying, give your trust to me and I will give it to the person who, uh, who is right to partner with in this endeavor. I know you're scared of partnership, but partner anyway, and know that the Lord will be with you in all of this. He was with you then. He saw how they hurt you. He saw the hurt. He saw the pain. But he's saying, try again. Take one step. You don't even have to be sure just take a step and trust the Lord. You don't even have to trust the process. You don't even have to trust the person. You don't even have to uh, necessarily like the person. But all you have to do is, know, is trust God and know that he will never steer you wrong. And all that, all that that happened before, that was for a purpose, but don't let that stop you partnering. Don't let that bad mistake stop you. Oh, I it didn't work last time, so I'm not doing it. Try again. Try again and again and again until it works. You know what God said to you. You know the vision he's given you. You know that you need help with it. But you, you're letting fear of failure and fear of partnership stop you. You, The Lord has said to you who to partner with. And you're like, God, no, no. What if they do the same thing they did before? He's saying, the Lord's saying, I have plowed new ground. The Lord says, I'm doing a new thing and I have plowed new ground. He's saying, I'm plowed new ground and that ground will bring up beautiful flowers. Those seeds will bring up beautiful roses that will affect the world in a positive way. If you don't do this, this partnership, that he's asking you to do, somebody will, will die. I know that's harsh, but that's what he's saying to me. Because you're not doing this partnership. 
means that someone out there that desperately needs what you have to share, that desperately needs this partnership, won't get what they need, or it will be harder for them to get what they need um, because you didn't obey. Because it's like a chain reaction. When you obey, someone else gets what they need, and that person gets the strength to obey God for what their calling is and affects another person, and it goes on and on. If you don't do this, then another person will will suffer and, and die spiritually, die emotionally. I dare to say die physically because you didn't um, do what God will call you to do. And I know that's harsh, but that's how he's told me to say it. And he's saying, do not let fear let you be the weak link in this chain. He's saying it's a chain and you cannot let fear of failure or fear of mistakes or fear of uh, looking stupid let you not partner. You know that person has what you need. The reason why the Lord is driving you so crazy with this vision is because it's imminent. You have to achieve what he's been calling you to achieve. Or there is somebody with children. You're not going to um, achieve the, the, um, the purpose. Your purpose is to put in those children what God has put in you. And there are that you have a child or two children that you know God is telling you to teach them something, to tell them something, to take them somewhere. And that's not just because of their learning, it's because it's connected and will show them their purpose. Um, I was I was watching a pastor uh, uh, talk one time, and he said, I grew up in a little church and with about 50, 50 people. And that, that pastor's uh, reach is, was not very big because the town was not very big. But he's saying, look what that pastor imparted to me and now and now this church is reaching the world. You have to impart into your kids. Although you may not think they're listening, but they are. And you need to say what God has been telling you to say um, or do what God has been telling you. As a, as a parent with a parent, fear, you're like, what if? they hate me, or what if they don't want to go? If they don't want to go, God will work on their heart and work up something else. But if you refuse to tell them or show them what God has been telling you to, that's on you. If you try and if they refuse, that's on them. God will deal with them. But if they're telling you, but if God is telling you to do something and to show them something and you refuse, um, you could be costing somebody their freedom and their life. I'm sorry if this sounds harsh, but this is where the Lord is going. And I must say what he's told me to say, and I'm just grateful that he's told me to say there are children there are children in your life right now I don't know who I'm talking to but there are children in your life right now who are financial geniuses who are 
who are called to be presidents of banks. And you work at a bank as a teller, and you refuse to take your children, to ask your boss to take your children to work, or even to tell them what, 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 what you do, because you think they'll be boring. They'll be bored and they won't listen. But what you don't know is you taking them to work will be the seed planted of their destiny to run that bank or that company or that thing for the artist. If you work with the homeless, uh, maybe you're supposed to take your children to the shelter where you volunteer so that they could get the seed of homelessness. And you, you're wondering why are they uh, so lazy? Why don't they do what I tell them to do? But the, you need to plant the seed. So it's not just taking them to work and showing them who you are and what you do. If you do that, God will plant a seed in them and and you will back to partnership back to partnership you will partner with god in their destinies just to plant a seed and a love for what he's going to do with the world through them but it's predicated on your obedience as their mom and their dad i don't know what, what why god's going here but i'm just uh following uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us. Thank you, Lord, for believing in us. Thank you, Lord, for showing us what you said. And, Lord, I pray that I declare that no one will die on their on uh, our watches, that we will obey you so that people can receive what they need to, can receive the, um, the part of the world that they need to, 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 um, achieve their destiny. There are preachers out there watching me right now, right now, um, who, who know that they're called to preach. It's in you. It's, it's just so flagrant in you, but you're like, I don't have a church. Or I don't, I don't want to look stupid on YouTube, or I don't want to look stupid on Facebook, or I don't, I'm not a good reader, or I don't read well. But just give the Lord what you have, and He'll make up the difference. The reason you're so uncomfortable the reason you feel so restless is because there's so much in you that God wants to get out. There's so much purpose in you. There's so much destiny in you. There's so much life in you that you're sitting on and God wants to get out. God has so much vision in you. But you're so afraid. You're like, Lord, I'm so not a good speaker. I don't speak well, I, I'm slow or whatever, or I have a disability, people can't understand me or whatever. Just take it as God wants to use me, that's it. That's how we take it. And don't worry about the details. Let him worry about the details. The only thing you have to say is, yes, Lord. The only thing you have to say is, yes. The only thing he's looking for, beloved, is your yes. Say yes, and he'll take care of the rest. Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, I break the spirit of fear, Lord. I break the heavy bounds, oh Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, that the bondage and chains are being broken. 
I pray that you're releasing business people with business ideas. I declare that you're releasing every everyone from their fears of God. Take us to the level that you want us to be. Lord Jesus, I, I see business owners. I see singers. There are people right now that are going to be watching me either right now or in the future. You're a singer. You're called to sing. And the music you're called to sing is not secular or sacred. It's somewhere in between. And you're seeing the need and you're getting all these songs and you're like, what is happening here? What is happening here is the Lord is calling you to use that that voice that you have in the shower for his glory. The reason why you don't see the things the way the other people see them is the Lord has given you insight that he hasn't given, given anyone else. The Lord has been telling you singers, artists, painters, everyone. The Lord's been telling you his secrets when you lay down, you're restless because the Lord's been telling you his secrets. So he wants you to let those secrets out in the, in the phenomenal ways, in the, un, in the unconventional ways that he has told you. He wants you to let those secrets out. That's why it's bothering you. That's why you can't sleep at night. That's why you have crazy dreams at end and you're like, what is this? It's God calling you. It's God, it's God nudging you. You're getting God nudges like crazy, beloved. It's time that you come out of your sh uh, shower, come out of your closet, and start creating. Start writing. Start doing what God has called you to do. And know that he will make up the difference. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Turn our I can'ts into I can. If you give God your nothing, he will turn it into beyond something. And it will become to him and to people everything. And it will go farther than you could ever imagine. And you will, you will probably not see all the ramifications of your obedience. Just take one step. Even if it's a scared, scared one. Even if it's a... Um, even if it's not a confident one, take it anyway. And there is someone that's a prophetic painter. Your paintings speak and reach to people. The Lord wants you to let those paintings out. Like... Your paintings are like the spirit of Issachar. They, t they are able to foretell the times and the seasons. And the Lord's saying, let it out. It's, it's time for you to take um, those things that you're seeing in your mind, those paintings on, cam on canvas, and let it out. Show it to people. Start an art show. He's saying, if you give me your nothing, I will turn it into beyond something. And that's what he's saying. He's saying, the first partner I want, to, I want you to have is me. He said, the first partner I want you to have is me. And I will lead you to the physical partner that you need for this leg of the journey. 
because some some someone out there is going for physical partners, but firstly he wants you to partner with him. To partner with him and let him lead you into the physical partnerships that he wants you to have. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We partner with you today. We partner with you today, which means you give the vision, but we have to act on it. And we have to step out and launch out into the deep. And Father, we launch out today in the name of Jesus. We do it scared. We do it frail. We do it unsure, Lord God. And what we don't know, what we don't know, you'll make up the difference, whatever that difference is. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, guys. I promise this is the last time. Is there anything else you need to say, Lord? Okay. Build your church, build your church, build it from the bottom, build your church, build your church, build your church, build it from the bottom, we're your church, build your church. Bye, guys.